Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, Amani Jelena, and I'm here with another video. So this video is a little bit different because I'm on the go right now, but I really wanted to put out a video because I haven't put out a video in such an extensive amount of time. Um, so first, I just want to say thanks to all the new people who have subscribed to me. I'm super excited that you guys have joined the family. And also, I want to say all the people who attended the webinar that I recently had, the Start, the Start a Hair Company 3.0. <laughs> 3.0 webinar I want to say thank you all for attending it and I hope it was very informative for you guys uh, for those of you who have been emailing me about the replay along with the vendors the 20 assorted vendors and then the packaging vendors and um, the graphic designers I am selling that I'll have the links right below for you guys uh, this whoever sees this video I'm selling the entire package for about 50 bucks uh, but then after in a few days the price will definitely the price will definitely increase once this like promotional process is over um, but aside from that I really wanted to come to you guys and talk to you guys about something that I already always get questions about and that is vendors I understand that it's extremely hard trying to find vendors quality vendors that have quality products and then also great communication as well um so yes as you can see from the title this is this video is basically going to be about vendors to kind of be aware of and to look out for and vendors that you might not exactly want to work with also keep in mind that my company allure 96 does have drop shipping wholesale and pre-ship available if you are interested the prices are extremely low there's no contracts or anything you can leave the program as you please uh, but that's just for the individuals who you know want to bypass this and just automatically want to go to a pretty good vendor like myself uh, that is always an option as well shameless plug i guess <laughs> I have some things written down below just so that I don't miss any steps but some things that you guys need to be aware of when trying when on the vendor hunt I'm just gonna say for one is inactive vendors on Instagram Facebook social media in general if you're dealing with a vendor who is not active or isn't posting regularly or often I would say maybe you don't necessarily want to work with them because they're not super active in all areas uh, especially on their Instagram pages and websites so if their website if their website looks super outdated or if they haven't uploaded a picture on their Instagram since last year things like that those are things that you need to look out for because maybe that's not a vendor that you necessarily want to work with because it doesn't seem like they're on top of everything the next one is going to be unresponsive vendors now when I say that I basically mean vendors who you've been honestly trying to reach out to but you can't seem to reach out to them they're inactive on everything uh, they're very ghosts you know they go ghost all the time things like that those are also vendors that you kind of want to you know side eye a little bit and maybe not put all of your eggs in one basket when dealing with a vendor like that the next one is going to be bad quality that is basically a trigger like if they have a bad product don't work with them if they have a good product hey, you know of course that's that's a vendor that you potentially want to work with but if they automatically send you bad samples bad products um unresponsive inactive things like that I would definitely like I said give them the side eye don't you know automatically like I said put all of your eggs in one basket do your research with them something big that I want you guys to look out for is also businesses who have been in business for less than a year so if you're dealing with a factory overseas and they've been in business for maybe six to eight months or so I would say um, before you spend large quantities large large amount of money with them I would definitely say hold off on it give them a time give them a minute to kind of like adjust to everything see if they have reviews over time and then potentially work with them but don't automatically partner up or work with someone who hasn't been in business much especially a year as you guys know I do a lot of research on businesses and things like that and a lot of the times many businesses fail or close rather within a two-year span so that's just something that I wanted to, you know, throw out to the universe for you guys. If they haven't been in business for a year yet, give them a second, let them adjust to everything, and then see how they're doing in six months from now or eight months in, months from now to make sure that they are still in business. Uh, the next thing is going to be bad reviews. Definitely utilize your internet. Utilize your Safari, things like that. Yelp. Facebook pages all that good stuff and just do research on the vendors that you guys you know want to potentially work with 
when it comes to reviews or online reviews when people make online reviews the businesses can't go back and alter those unless they're on their website if they're on their website they can alter it as much as they want to but if we're talking like facebook pages um facebook groups if we're talking yelp being google reviews things like that those cannot be changed by the business so definitely make sure you guys are doing your research um and you know hunting you know sir doing a lot of research to see if certain businesses has good or bad reviews and then the last one that i have for you guys is going to be communication make sure communication is there make sure your potential vendor that you are going to work with has pretty good communication whether it's email phone support uh text messages however that business operates definitely make sure that um they have great communication and the last thing that i really want to throw in there before my camera dies is also going to be payment processors a lot of the times many companies that i've been running into as when i'm doing my vendor searches and things like that they handle uh, they do business with Western Union. I am not a big Western Union fan when it comes to like sending money over because I can't track my money or trace my money once I send. So I would say if you are dealing with the vendor, ask them if they can potentially switch over to PayPal or some other payment method where if something happened, you can always open up a claim for your money in case something did happen. Uh, uh, so that's something that I want you guys to be aware of sending money through untraceable methods which would be like a western union um but western union or like uh like a bank like 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 a wireless transfer things like that i would definitely look out for i would mainly stick with large branches like a paypal or you know the cash app things like that where you can always redeem your money if something bad did happen but i hope this video was beneficial to you guys i love each and every every one of you so much thank you guys for subscribing don't forget to like this video but yes and don't forget if you are interested in purchasing the 20 assorted vendors along with the replay the link will be in the description box at a very discounted price for you guys so i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video talk to you later bye